Well, we're back out at the delicious range today, full of dead animal carcasses and a variety of accoutrements to shoot at. So out here at the range, got redfish and bluefish with me, and I got sheepdog. Make sure that we stay safe from all the coyotes. American-made ingenuity at its best, and for the price of a pistol, you get quite a package. We'll also be shooting some blazer ammunition, among other things. Not my favorite one, but it is cheap. I would have a hard time saying that this is a beautiful gun, because she clearly is not. But she is a fun gun, and she is the Skookum Chucher. Now this is a virgin shooting of this. I haven't loaded a magazine. I haven't done anything with it. I put a little bit of blue tape on there for some tactical properties. But one thing I am gonna do, I am gonna shorten up this buttstock. The nice part about this buttstock right here is you have these spacers with a simple Allen wrench. You can you can take those spacers out and shorten that up. Uh, I have, I've learned that even though I'm a fairly tall person, that I do like a short stock on that. It also will help for all the little fish so they can take a chance to shoot this firearm here. It has got amazing peep sights on it. I don't know how accurate they are, but they are fully adjustable. So right now, accuracy isn't really the main point, but to look through them, they, they provide a beautiful sight picture, one that leaves nothing left to be desired. So before too much ado, oh yeah, and there we go. We got our Oompa Loompa mag loader. And, and these things are a lifesaver, especially for new mags. These Ruger mags, when they're new, can be very, very difficult to load. And so this is gonna help save my little fingies. All right, now that I shortened up the butt stock a little bit, here, let's look at one of the other features on this I didn't mention. It's got a threaded barrel cap on there. So if you do decide to shoot suppressed, you can do that. It's also got an interchangeable magwell insert so that you can shoot the standard Ruger mags or you can shoot the Glock mags. Well, I gave up all my 9 mil Glock mags a long time ago and now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't, but I do have one Ruger mag now. It's got a, a little bit of rail system so you could put a flashlight on this, whatever you want. We do not have the most beautiful firearm that there ever was made, but you do have one that functions very, very well. And from what I could determine so far and taking it apart, it very much duplicates and uh, borrows from the 1022 design, just scaled up to nine millimeter. What we have here, it works just like a takedown 1022 as well. I'm gonna be honest, for the the price of these, the MSRP on these, it's actually a very well machined gun. You get a fluted barrel. I, I don't know really that that's gonna make that much of a difference, but uh, the machining is is pretty nice on this. I got no complaints look this is me being nitpicky but you have two different plastics for the the butt stock and then one for the forend guess what i don't care this thing's gonna be a blast to shoot I'm like, what do you want do you want a range piece so that everybody oogles at you when you go to the range or do you want something that works all right now just like the 1022 takedown version you pull this little lever back spring loaded give her a little bit of a twist she pops right out now look at those locking lugs in there Oh man, just machine to perfection. And, and there you have, there you have the receiver end. All right, got the PC carbine loaded up. Got 115 grain blazer ammo in there. Not your most powerful ammo, but it's gonna work. This is gonna be the first shot that I've ever fired out of this firearm. Oh, probably need to put a bullet in the chamber. That probably helps, right? <laughs> that sucked. See that can that I didn't hit? Yeah. Let's try to hit that. Did that scare you? Yeah. Bit of a kick. It does not have a bit of a kick. Shoot it a few more times. Come on. Okay. You're blowing a heck of a dirt storm up out there. Oops. Where were you aiming?
Shoot, lost my target. Let's shoot that pumpkin. Wee! I've needed that. A little bit of nitrocellulose aromatherapy right there. All right, let's load her up, get some more going. All right, now I'm starting to get a hang of this. This thing is a sweet, smooth shooting gun. Very comfortable and uh, argumented by redfish. It really doesn't have any kick. So now we got ourselves a sheepdog, so we're gonna hold fire. Now I've got 15 rounds left in this. I'm just gonna shoot these rapid fire. I'm gonna try to hit that big old pile of guts over there. Uh, I'm not really gonna go for accuracy on this one. I'm just gonna go for speed and see how, how well she does. Um, I don't wanna burn through any more ammo, especially with uh, what's going on right now. And I'm liking that, that's pretty smooth. Okay, now we've seen it work with this. I'm gonna load up some Fitterelli and we're going to shoot that and then after doing that then we're going to load up a, a self-defense round and we're going to do a water jug test and see because you're probably gaining probably 200 feet per second out of this and i just want to see how those bullets work I've got the gold saber here. I've got the gold dot 147 grain here. But I've got three 147 grain 9 mil bullets right here. Both of these rounds are excellent performers so far. I got no qualms with either of them. So we're going to shoot uh, one of these gold dots at the, the water jugs and see what happens there. If any are left over, maybe we'll shoot another one at the water jug and then we'll take a crack at something else with the last one. All right, she's bleeding out. But I imagine we've captured that bullet in there. Let's check it out. Third jug, you've got your entrance hole. It hit the back of the jug right there and did not penetrate. That's actually pretty good performance for a nine mil.
Here we had three cans of chicken noodle soup lined up with a plastic bottle that was empty behind it just for effect. And from what I see in this location is there's nothing left. This is a 115 grain full metal jacket, 9mm, just straight range ammo, but was not able to penetrate this. It's about, I don't know, 7 16 half inch. It is ballistic fiberglass. It's basically fiberglass in a special resin base. One fish got that dead center. Pretty sweet. I'm part of the video too. You can see that I'm part of it. Do it again.